Kevsky, and this video is basically to show you what Saskatchewan's best service course is all about. Um, I took it back in September and um, recorded the summaries as a helpful thing for me, and uh, I also recorded the review and the, the uh, an explanation on how customer service works just to help me review like I didn't record the whole entire thing and I uh, wrote notes as well and I figured I might as well just show you the unit reviews and the all-around review and the uh, example of what customer service should be about so you get an idea of what the best service course is about so I hope you enjoy this, and uh, bear in mind, this is not the course, it's just a preview to show you what it's about, and I hope you do, when you watch it, think that might be a good thing to get certified in, in order to help me get jobs, especially in this day and age, where uh, getting all you need in order to get a job, you know, get certified and stuff like that. And uh, this is for the province of Saskatchewan, so uh, hope you enjoy and uh, learn something new. Jeff has explained to Sarah that providing your best service involves every team member's genuine desire to exceed customer expectations and to create positive impressions, and has provided a number of techniques she can use to improve her ability to provide her best service. You should now be aware of the concept of internal and external customer service. Each department is either a service provider or customer to other departments. This means that everyone is connected to the external customer in some way. Remember, even internal teams need to be focused outwardly toward the external customer. The total product concept, in light of the phrase, perception is all there is. Customer expectations are rising. It's important to look for opportunities to wow customers so they receive better service than they will experience anywhere else. Moments of truth and how their sum makes up the total service experience or service cycle. By ensuring that each moment of truth the customer experiences is positive, your customers will form lasting positive impressions of you and your business and will become loyal customers. And the core skills for personally delivering your best service by using the proactive learn method. Hey guys, um, I was editing this video and I suddenly realized I didn't put a name in between. So I figured this would be a good point to ask you if you like the video, please hit the like button. It helps with Google Analytics or YouTube Analytics and all that jazz. And uh, check out my channel. It's mostly got things about Saskatoon. So uh, please check out my channel. If you like it, please subscribe. I'm uh, trying to get that 1,000 subscribers and the 4,000 hours of view time. So please. Hopefully this year I'll get it. And uh, hope you enjoy the video and uh, see you at the end. Sarah's friends have helped her learn more about the importance of encouraging feedback from customers as a way of recovering from difficult situations and building customer loyalty and satisfaction. You should now be aware of the reactive learn approach to service recovery and service-best communication skills, such as active listening, empathy, and questioning. The use of these skills allows the customer to vent his or her emotions and allows you to get the facts and understand their feelings, which are necessary to solving problems successfully. So I figured this would be a good point to ask you if you liked the video, please hit the like button and it helps with Google Analytics or YouTube Analytics and all that jazz. And, uh, Check out my channel. It's mostly got things about Saskatoon. So, uh, please check out my channel. If you like it, please subscribe. I'm uh, trying to get that 1,000 subscribers and the 4,000 hours of view time. So, 
please. Hopefully this year I'll get it. And uh, hope you enjoy the video and uh, see you at the end. Jeff asks Sarah if she has found their discussion helpful and if she thinks she is ready to begin her new customer service job. Sarah says that she feels a lot more confident now and she understands that people with a positive attitude have the expectation that every encounter with a customer, coworker, boss, or situation will have a positive outcome. She thinks she will be able to make a difference to each customer's experience and control the things that may prevent her from having a positive attitude. You should now be aware of the service best attitude that Sarah has described, strategies for effectively managing hot buttons and minimizing any other barriers to good communication, and the concept of internal focus and how to maintain this focus by asking questions such as, how can I improve this situation? rather than blaming others. So I figured this would be a good point to ask you if you liked the video, please hit the like button. It helps with Google Analytics or YouTube Analytics and all that jazz. And uh, check out my channel. It's mostly got things about Saskatoon. So uh, please check out my channel. If you like it, please subscribe. I'm uh, trying to get that 1,000 subscribers and the 4,000 hours of view time, so please, hopefully this year I'll get it. And uh, hope you enjoy the video and uh, see you at the end. Jeff congratulates Sarah on how well she understands what they have been discussing. As one final piece of advice, he tells her that an important component of providing effective service is product knowledge. Lack of product knowledge is a well-known factor in customer dissatisfaction. Doug agrees and says that gaining all the knowledge you can about your company's products and services, even those outside of your immediate area, can give you opportunities to cross-sell or suggestive sell. Selling and providing service often happen very naturally if you have answers to your customers' questions. Wendy points out that you need the complete package to create a positive customer experience. Excellent customer service, plus a positive attitude, plus excellent product and or service knowledge, equals a positive customer experience. So I figured this would be a good point to ask you if you liked the video, please hit the like button and it helps with Google Analytics or YouTube Analytics and all that jazz. And uh check out my channel. It's mostly got things about Saskatoon. So, uh, please check out my channel. If you like it, please subscribe. I'm, uh, trying to get that 1,000 subscribers and the 4,000 hours of view time. So, please, hopefully this year I'll get it. And, uh, hope you enjoy the video and, uh, see you at the end. It's a month later. And once more, everyone is at the park. Sarah joins the group, and they excitedly ask her how her first few weeks at her new job have been going. Sarah tells Jeff, Doug, and Wendy that the opportunity to discuss and try out various service excellence techniques helped her improve her personal skills and made her feel more satisfied with her job. By talking things through with her friends, Sarah is now able to demonstrate the skills for handling difficult situations with customers, the behaviors and qualities associated with developing and maintaining the positive attitude necessary for providing excellent service, and more confidence in her role as a service professional for her company's products and services. The foundation of service best is that everyone can and must make a difference to every customer's experience. The ability to provide service best service is a lifetime skill, no matter where you work or what you do, and managers and owners reward individuals who help the business grow. Remember too, that service best is just a start. There are all kinds of additional things you can do to keep growing and increasing your professionalism. In the meantime, demonstrate your personal commitment to service best by pledging to be an ambassador for your business. Extend a warm and friendly welcome. 
Show a positive, team-oriented attitude and pride in your work. And top all your customers' expectations. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed that and that you learned something new. Or at least get an idea of whether or not best service is best for you. Because it, being certified to do customer service in the province of Saskatchewan might be a good thing in this day and age with instead of the usual amount of people looking for work we've got hundreds more looking for work so it might actually be a good way to get you an edge and I hope you did enjoy that and I hope you it gives you an idea and allows you to make a decision so uh I hope you enjoyed that, and when I do the, uh, what's it called again, serve it right, I'll do the, uh, summaries as well for that, mainly to help me study, but I'll also make a video out of those as well, because it might be helpful for you, for anybody who's looking for work, to decide whether or not they want to use that as well. So, um. I hope you enjoyed that, and I'll uh, see you later. Bye. Mm -hmm.